Hello and welcome to another review. Now this review, I was going to do one of my Gone in 60 Seconds, which is one of the shorts I do on YouTube where I literally jump into a sample. In a minute, I just give it the quick overview of the look of the whiskey, the nose and the palate. And the one I was going to do was a Darth Mill 2008 summer batch release. Now this is one of 1,760 bowls. This is obviously a sample out of that. 46% and it was sent to me from the East City Whiskey Club. Now this was sent to me quite a while ago. I've got quite behind with all the samples I've been sent. I've got a lot in the cupboard, uh, mainly because I had a lot of stuff happen um, a year or so ago and I'm now working nights, which has proven absolutely disastrous for the with the uh, YouTube making, etc, etc, because mainly I I can't drink and go to work, basically. Normally people finish work, they drink in the evening, they go to sleep, they wake up, they go to work, even if it's a couple of drams. I sleep during the day, I wake up, I can't then drink and then go to work at night. So it's a little bit of a uh, to and fro. But like I said, I just tasted this. I've never tasted it before. I started doing the 60 second review. And the second I tasted this, I thought, nope, I've got to give this the review it deserves because it is absolutely... Well, I'm not going to get into what it is, but yeah, it is nice. It is. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Now, it's 46%. Look at that. It's non-chill filtered. No coloration added. You can see there's little bits floating around in there. It, by the look of it, it's 46%. Viscosity-wise, yes, it has got legs. You know, it's... It's fairly viscous. It's going to have some um, some oiliness to it, some clout as it goes through the actual uh, through the mouth down the throat. It's going to uh, coat the mouth quite nicely. Now let's see what we get on the nose from this. This is the point at which, when I was doing the sixty second review, I thought maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe I should give this more time. It's super floral. It really is. It smells crisp. It smells clean. It smells absolutely fantastically produced. Super rounded. Not a abs. Not not a hint of sharpness in there that suggests it's going to taste weak. Um, well, not weak, but taste. To me, sharpness. When you smell sharpness, it, it suggests cheapness. Um, there's a diff there's a way to, to describe it it's like acetone type cheapness type smell and this has got none of that this is absolutely beautiful it is the summer 2008 release and I smell this and it takes me to summer it takes me to a meadow walking through the meadow wildflowers everywhere Orchard fruits swinging in the breeze. You've got apples, you've got pears, you've also got a slightly buttery type smell at the back of this. It smells beautiful, it really, really does. Now, I know how sought after Darth Mills are because I've been going in for some of the ballots and I've never actually managed to get a proper bottle of Darth Mill. I knew I had this sitting in the cupboard, but for some reason I just overlooked it and I really wish I hadn't done. There's a slightly dark note in the back of this as well, like a like an earthiness. That is absolutely beautiful. Shall we take this on the palette? Let's see what I get from it. That is stunning. That really is. A lot of fruit in there. Definitely getting summer fruits. I'm getting like cherries, pears. Apples. Florally note in there as well, like maybe a heather. Mm. There's a butteriness at the back of this as well. 
like like a whole meal, like a cookie, maybe an oatmeal cookie type taste. It is absolutely beautiful. And look at the legs on that, you say, 46%. It's gloopy, it's oily, it's hanging in the mouth. The finish is absolutely fantastic. The finish just goes on and on and on. The finish is very buttery. There's a lot of sweetness in there as well. There's definitely some sugary going, sugary notes going on in there. As weird as it may seem, I'm picking up Krispy uh, Kreme donuts. Yeah, definitely crispy. The end of that is definitely Krispy Kreme. If you ever had a Krispy Kreme glow donut, the circle ones that are glazed on top, that is what I'm picking up from this. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, it's the first Darth Mill I've had, like I say. I am going to have to try harder in these ballots to get a full bottle of one of these Darth Mills because that is beautiful. There's a lot of fanboys out there. There's a lot of people who go for Darth Mills. To get one is fairly difficult, to be honest with you, because they release them, they just go like that. Then obviously you see them on the secondary market and they absolutely fly. They absolutely fly up through the, uh, through the roof of the prices. But look at that. It's gloopy, it's oily, it's absolutely delicious. It really, really is. What a tram. What a tram. That is pushing on 9.8 out of 10. That really is. I know a bottle of this now, the bottles of the 2008 summer release are going for around about £500 a bottle, which is rather expensive. It really, really is. But, you know, you can see why. You can see why people are paying this on the secondary market as well. You really, really can. It is an absolute stonker of a whiskey. But, right, I'm going to leave that review there anyway. Uh, that was the Darth Mill 2008 summer batch release. What a beauty. All I can say about it is what an absolutely stunning whiskey. But like I say, I'm going to leave that there. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next review. <laughs>